Hi everyone, what do we have here? New additions to existing businesses, new genres being bought inside that business. Soft washing, roof treatment, pressure cleaning. Let's go through it all and I want to give you a bit of an overview on all the components and how you can expand your business and add new genres the same. So our soft wash equipment here at Blue Tongue Industries can all be seen and all the other equipment we're going to talk about today at bluetongueindustries.com.au. If you like this video please give us a thumbs up and, and check out all our other genre on YouTube under multiple playlists. So the piece of soft wash equipment today is on our large purpose built skid. So it's powered by a Delavan 12 volt pump at 26, just over 26 litres a minute at 100 psi. So pump configurations come in multiple choice. So it can be 12 volt from the Delavan or the Everflow, the 24 volt from the Everflow or the Honda P40 configuration. The skids are designed to take multiple pumps with the limit of drilling a hole. So all the holes have been laser cut to be able to swap and change between the pump selection and even the Honda P40. But in this large skid arrangement, we've set it up with a 12 volt. The Delavan doesn't have a onboard switch, so we have an on off switch and we have the most important, the flush valve. So a three way flush valve. So that flush valve is going to allow selection of water or SH into the chemical valve. 25 litre soap tank, which will be our soap surfactant. And if you haven't seen our latest launch of our soft wash chemicals, do take a look at bluetongueindustries.com.au under the soft wash tab or under the chemical cleaning soap tab. So we're going to fill up our soap container with our house wash mix. So we'll start with 18 litres of water and add 1.5 litres of our house wash purpose designed soap surfactant to help release dirt in a general house washing building wash down configuration. We're then going to add some sticky blue to that 25 litre soap container. That is not a necessary add but it is going to give us more cling in a vertical hole. We'll add 500 mils, I'll show you some tests, and we'll add our maximum one litre to our 18 and a half litres of water, one and a half litres of, of house wash, and changing between 500 mils or a litre of sticky blue, we'll add that extra cling. But please take note, extra cling will also mean extra rinse time. Other chemicals just about to hit the market are our True Blue. So that's our commercial, non-caustic, heavy duty degrees. And you can see that on our website too at bluetongueindustries.com.au. Other chemicals, which if you haven't picked up on the videos just previously launched, are our Hellfire, which is our, our caustic, heady duty, state of the art degreaser. So if you're pulling oil and grease from hard surfaces, do check out Hellfire. It's an absolute must. So just a, an overview of the skid assembly. So designed to take, as I mentioned previously, multiple pumps. The Delavan pump, the banjo flush valve, the on off switch because no remote onboard switch, our 25 litre soap tank. The 12 volt Everflow pump here is 8.3 litre a minute. So that's going to be hooked into our roof treatment for spraying our wet and forget. Our 120 amp hour battery, which is going to drive the both, both, and our 12 volt um, IP65 charger, which is tucked up underneath, which will control the power management of that battery and just charged up as required. A couple of different hose reels. We've got the stainless steel hose reel feeding our roof treatment system, and our soft wash reel feeding our soft wash application system. The brains of the system, if we move around to the side, is the Midwest. So the V4 proportioner which we've set up and, and is custom matched to the Delavan pump has three valves so it's a single soap. So we have our water in which is coming on this particular custom setup from our 150 litre 
water tank, which is filled from a garden tap through a shut off float valve. Our single soap valve is feeding from the 25 litre soap tank at the front and our bleach valve, our SH valve, is taking either bleach or water through the three-way valve to inject either bleach, if we're doing a chemical clean, um, dialing up one or six percent, or one all the way through to six, or it's putting water through that three-way valve back into the chemical valve to flush that valve and flash the pump at the end of the particular task. If you want to read more about percentages and how it works in your soft wash career, I'll drop an article on a link below which we've just published and understanding what a ratio of 1% or 6% is when we select that on our metering valve. So that's the V4 from Midwest. Round the back to recap. If we take a look at this purpose-built skid, 150 litre water tank, our 100 litre bleach tank. The roof treatment systems is in an independent system and will be on this particular ute arrangement uh, remotely secured. So the roof treatment is also being fed from the stainless steel hose reel and the 12 volt 8.3 litre a minute pump which is getting power and being charged by that battery sitting in the main skid. So it's going to contain our roof treatment chemical which is wet and forget. So from a contractor's perspective if you're in the industry in an ABN holder this particular 10 litres gives us 110 litres of solution for hard surface, soft surfaces and obviously roofs uh, where we're targeting here from a, a full clean either soft wash or a standalone roof treatment cleaning process. Uh, to accompany the whole soft wash process or that total cleaning packages if you're going to be doing hard surface cleaning or because we have a 12 volt pump a rinse with a pressure cleaner in your exterior building and, and house washing we've added in a 3500 psi 15 litre a minute industrial pressure cleaning system 30 metre hose reel on top there's an additional 15 metres of hose that comes with the machine so 45 metres in total reach a dual lance which is an absolute must and a 16 inch Mosmatic surface cleaner. So I'll drop links below if you haven't chosen or know how to choose your pressure cleaner. This industrial pressure cleaner has a low speed pump, only spinning at just over 1400 RPM. Pneumatic tyres, vibration isolated, sitting on the galvanised steel roll frame. So industrial will run 24 7 and a fantastic unit to accompany the rinse of your soft wash solution or using a surface cleaner to do your decks, driveway or any other hard surface cleaning that you may have. To finish off a DI resin system kit package and we have an amplitude of window cleaning equipment on our site at Blue Tongue Industries. Uh, this particular setup is just going straight with DI to get them going and we'll move into one of our RO systems at a later date. A couple of poles, 32 foot, which will give them three storeys and a mini pole which is awesome for glass balustrade, pool balustrade and the like. So we're just going to add some house wash to our 18 and a half litres of water. We're going to add a, a litre and a half. So it's a great additive to add with your your SH, your sodium hypochloride, and it's going to help release dirt, debris that's built up and, and cobwebs on those exterior surfaces of the buildings. Keep an eye out for our True Blue, which is just about to hit, and you can see information about that on our website under bluetongueindustries.com.au, and that's actually in a pre-order format now. We're taking orders for that. So that is a heavy-duty degreaser. So if you're doing certain applications of exterior washing, soft washing, pressure cleaning where you need a heavy duty non-caustic degreaser, service stations, 
the true blue will be right up your alley to help release all that really commercially baked on grime and grease. The sticky blue, we're going to add 500 mils and we'll tweak that up to a litre. But do beware, the more of that you add, the greater the rinse time. And our Hellfire will accompany our pressure cleaning equipment. So that is a caustic product, so be aware of juco and metals. But if you need to pull oil and heavy baked on grease and grime from concrete and hard surfaces, really packs a punch. And if you've seen our videos or if you haven't seen them, check out our YouTube channel, Blue Tongue Industries, and pick up the latest two videos on this Hellfire. So I'll go in, we'll add a, a litre and a half. So the concentration rates of the house wash uh, are quite, quite good. So long term aspect and pricing uh, can all be seen on our website. Um, and th this is available like these other three currently in stock now. We'll top this up and we'll be back with you in a minute. So I've just preloaded the soap tank with our house wash mix or solution. So that's going to aid in the dirt removal, built up grime on your, your houses and your building exteriors and help release those webs. I'll leave the soap valve on one setting across all different application rates here and that soap valve can be adjusted in a graduation of 1 to 10 and we're sitting here at, at 10 at a maximum injection from this 12 volt pump through the Midwest proportioner. We've got 50 metres of half inch hose so it's a reasonable distance and we're shooting here. I have a 300 pencil jet and a 500 fan jet so we'll come in and we'll look so this is without a sticky application so this is your general house wash mix to aid in that dirt removal we're not shooting sh so it's just purely i wanted to show you the different suds and the different capabilities that you're going to get from the different solutions to allow you to carry out the ultimate soft wash. So our sticky blue is an additive to give you more vertical cling and longer dwell times. It's going to make water wetter like any soap and surfactant will do, change surface tensions, but we, we want that sodium hypochlorite, that bleach to sit there on the surface and have longer reaction times so in our 18 and a half litres with a litre and a half of our house wash we can add anywhere from 500 mils to a litre but beware that the more you add the greater the rinse time uh, that'll be required to actually get that solution off so there's a bit of a catch and a compromise there with your vertical hole but here we go Here's 500 mils. We'll give that a quick mix around and uh, we'll show you at the nozzle. So we've just dropped 500 mils into our mix of house wash. So we'll just see, see how this sticks. So our original mixture, we're just going to add that litre and the solution can be anywhere between 500 mils and a litre, but you're going to have more rinse time. So we're going to leave that up to the operators depending on how much cling you would like or how much rinse time is required or not required. Uh, it's a bit of a catch-22, but so we've got our 18 litres of water, one and a half litres of house wash, and one litre of our sticky blue. We'll purge the line and uh, give you a look at the trigger end. So just the addition of the sticky blue. That's 
coming straight out of a 300 pencil jet. Giving a bit more foam. So the concentration can be varied. Uh, I've said this a few times already, time and time again. Um, recommended 500 mils to a litre for your 18 and a half litres of water. So that's just going to give you a bit more hold on your house wash solution to allow that, plus your SH, to help release that dirt and speed your whole soft washing process up. So the roof treatment driven by the 8.3 litre a minute Everflow pump, J-Rod, pencil jets. For your wet and forget application, which you can see on our website. Spray nozzles. That's the roof treatment. A 500, the Delavan. A 300. And a pencil or a fan. Thanks.